hey guys so i posted a video some days ago about how i got a job that comes with certificate of sponsorship with the nhs and i got tons and tons of questions the major one was what route do you get <laughs> guess what i'm here to answer that exact question and if you watch this video to the very end you are going to find out definitely what route i applied for and several other roles you can apply for as well to get sponsored with the nhs if this sounds like something you're interested in do watch this video to the very end and if you're just stopping here for the first time this is jaffa decoded on this channel we share content on how you can migrate to the uk and how you can thrive as an immigrant while you are here consider subscribing to this channel because you would not want to miss any of that and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back let's get started the nhs has various um roles available both clinical roles medical roles and non-medical roles all right clinical and non-clinical roles all right so and lots of jobs as well are on the shortage of patient list which i posted in a video lately with the nhs you can get sponsored on various roles such as nurses so if you're a nurse i realized that there are several people that are qualified nurses from their home countries but when they come to the uk simply because they don't know how to go about it or something they tend to settle for less rules like um healthcare assistants support workers and things like that while it's not bad to start from there you can also learn what you need to do like um what exams do you need to write to get qualified in the uk or to get your pain what certifications do you need to take so that you can upgrade all right because nurses are always needed in the uk with the nhs once you have your pain you can get a job just like that all right especially because you're already here then the next one is pharmacist i know a lot of people that have like been pharmacists from their home countries come here and like say it's really tedious to get a pharmacist job i know you have to like write some exams take some certifications to get qualified as a pharmacist in the uk simply because you need to learn their systems and everything so why not settle down and do the research of what you need to do because that's like one short way of getting a job and even sponsorship in the uk then the next one is biomedical scientists laboratory scientists and technicians okay hey just wait before you say okay that's for scientists i'm not a scientist it is not that deep okay all right so if you've studied something like biological sciences biochemistry microbiology from your home country and at some point you've worked in the lab then guess what you can get this job as a laboratory scientist all right what do you need to do just go on the nhs website and just check out some of those rules that i've mentioned relating to laboratory technicians laboratory scientists biomedical scientists see what they are looking for like the skills the certifications and trust me before you say i don't have this i don't have that i don't qualify for these just break it down which of those certifications do you have which of those skills can you demonstrate that you have which of those person specifications do you have or do you fit into so just dot all your eyes and tick all your bosses and see what you have left that's a great way to start and before you say uh, i'm not a scientist or what they're looking for is just the criteria is just too high for me can you start as an assistant in that particular role for example if you feel like laboratory scientist is too high for you and you feel like biomedical scientist is too high and you don't have the qualifications yet have you checked out like laboratory assistant medical laboratory assistant and roles like that trust me it is not that hard all right then the next role is data analyst all right i know a lot of people just feel like this is hard work if you're already in the uk or if you already even have a job right now but your job will not give you a certificate of sponsorship in the long run why not start taking courses relating to data analytics be it in your spare time instead of taking like extra sheets every opportunity you get why not use that remaining time that you've got on your hands to start applying um for certifications and trainings in this area even volunteering you don't have to if you know what you're looking for you can choose to do that for 
free for the period where you are still training so that you can know exactly what the job entails you can also use that time to build your work experience saying you have volunteered for this particular role for a social number of um, months or even a year and you stand a higher chance of even getting that job than someone who just wakes up and says i want to be a data analyst and trust me there are always jobs available and for this particular role they are non-medical, non-clinical, and the pay is even way more higher than entry-level roles they are looking at in the NHS. The other role that I'll be telling you about, which is like very fast and easy, and a lot of people have gotten it, is project managers or project management. There are lots of people that have gotten project management roles with the NHS. So instead of just going to say like, okay, this thing is in IT, I can't do it. So why not start looking at project management? How can I get in? If I were you, if I see a role relating to project management that does not come with visa sponsorship and is even an entry level role, even like an assistant or something, I will take it. If I know that in the long run, what I'll be looking for is project management role that comes with visa sponsorship. Then the next one is web designers. Web designers. If you watch that video I made about the jobs on the shortage occupation list you will know that web designers are on the list all right so if you have an experience of working as a web designer before so why not start looking for roles and i bet you there are roles in the nhs for web designers as well so instead of just when you hear the nhs instead of just thinking about nurses doctors healthcare assistants and and all those kind of roles just open your mind to other non-clinical roles as well such as web designers all right we are searching for jobs on the nhs website what me i did was to filter my search by bands so the nhs has different bands like band one two three and it's up to eight depending on the role and how qualified you are from experience and also from um, speaking with lots of people most roles that get sponsored is the NHS starts from band three, so from band any row from band three, band four, band five, six and above, you are likely to get sponsored. And a lot of people also when looking for a job, they just filter their search by jobs that comes with sponsorship. Okay, and when they don't see that the job comes with sponsorship on the advert, they just move on to the next. That's not um a good way to go about it or think about it, all right. So there are certain jobs that will come with visa sponsorship, but it will not be stated on the advert. All right. One reason being that the employers does not even know what certificate of sponsorship means because they've never had to do that. And then the other reason being that they don't want to be flooded with irrelevant applications. Okay, from people that want to come and work with their organization just because they want the certificate of sponsorship and not because they are interested in the role. I know this is hard. But no organization will give you a job simply because you're looking for a job. But they will only give you a job because of how valuable you will be or you are to them, okay? Or how valuable your role is to them, okay? So you should be able to tie your application to how valuable you will be to them. In the coming days, I'm going to be discussing with you exactly how to make these applications, okay? And also what to do regarding your CV. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with us, you can click the link in the description box of this video all right because i've seen that lots of people have been trying to reach out to us so it's good news can i reach us so getting back to that question what role did i exactly apply for so the role was medical laboratory assistant and yeah i studied biological sciences so um for you you might not have had anything to do with biology or the laboratory before but you might have had other things to do with IT or other experiences or things that you've done from your home country or even here while you're here volunteering for different organizations that might be related to tech and all of that or project management, data analytics, uh, web designing and things like that and even carpentry and all of those things on the shortage of patient list. So why not look at that? Why not position for roles closely related to the jobs on the shortage of patient list, which will soon be changed to the salary immigration list? But trust me, that is one way to systematically position yourself for what you want. So I hope this video has been very useful or helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, why not like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, 
drop your comments or questions in the comment section and i'll do well to answer all of your questions until i come your way again i remain comfort skidion bye